All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. This will be a short video just to speak about the politics issue in India. You know, uh, media is always, uh, uh, I mean, it's like a garbage uh, container. And those, uh, only the fool, believe what the media say. And if you look in front of you, India passes citizenship bill, exclude Muslims, and many, they say, discriminate Muslims. And they are attacking India for being discriminating the Muslims, etc. Just to make it short for you. In the United Nations, there is a law that says every country have the right to treat other countries' citizens equal to what they treat their own citizen in their land. What, what does that mean? It means if I want to go to Europe, if USA required a visa to France, as an example, uh, to a French citizen, same will happen to me. France, France they have the right to give me uh, the equal right which is I have to apply for a visa so I can go there if there is a visa waiver between us so it, it's it's equal treatment now the question is simple name for me one Muslim country give Hindu a citizenship a Hindu immigrant name for me one Muslim country give there's Hindu people, poor people, work in Saudi Arabia for the last 40 years of their life. After 40 years, can't they get citizenship? No. So, why they are liars? I mean, so, why you don't give citizenship to the Hindus, and that is okay, but if the Hindus, they say, if you are an immigrant and you are a Muslim, we will treat you equally, it's not okay. Do you see the scam? Do you see how they manipulate? And do you see how the injustice happened to the Hindus and non-Muslims? Non Christians, if you are a Christian, you work in, in, in Saudi Arabia, in Kuwait, in Emirates for 50, 60 years, you will never get citizenship. You have to be a Muslim. Why they are giving a citizenship for somebody from Pakistan, he is a Muslim, but not somebody from Pakistan, he's a Christian, simply because he's a Muslim. So why, when they treat you equally, you get upset and you call it discrimination. When the terrorists in Myanmar attack the police station and behead every police inside, and then the police attack back, they say he's, they are attacking Muslims in Myanmar. And they post fake pictures of women being raped from a movie, from an Indian movie. So, very simple question for those who they are attacking India. I'm not an Indian. I'm not a Hindu. <laughs> but you know what? The truth has to be said. When the last time a Hindu man who worked in Saudi Arabia, he got his citizenship? Can you name one for me? If you speak against Islam, you are Islamophobic. If you treat Muslim as they treat you, you are a bad person. You cannot do that. They can treat you as they wish, but you cannot treat them back. Go and see the justice for non-Muslims in Islamic countries. They have no rights. If you preach the gospel, they arrest you. If you try to, to speak to somebody about Jesus, they will arrest you and you might be killed. If somebody leaves Islam, he will be executed. And they are talking about citizenship. This is citizenship for people who they are illegally there anyway. They are not, this is not for a Muslim who is born in India, from a Muslim family, no. And he is an Indian, they, they are, all of them they are Indian, no. This is only for people who they are illegal there. And they have no right to be there. Why do they want to give their citizenship? To bring them more trouble? From Al-Qaeda and ISIS, we know what they do. So my, my friends, <clears throat> I say, refresh the page if you, don't have, if you have a problem. <clears throat> I say that this is all is nothing but propaganda against India. And I like this guy actually, Moody. This prime minister of India, he is the, he's the, he's the man. He is fixing things in India. Kashmir is the land of India and nobody dare to take it back. I mean, just this is your land. Actually, Pakistan is your land. 
not only Kashmir, Pakistan. there's nothing is called Pakistan, there's nothing is called Bangladesh, this is India. Islamic occupation, take it off. They go to a country and then they divide the country and they try to eat the country. This is the land of India. There's nothing is called Bangladesh. There's nothing is called Pakistan. There's nothing is called. This is all doesn't exist. This is what they, when they, what they do when they go to a place. They go to uh, 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 you know they, they go to Cyprus. They, they eat half of Cyprus. They go to Lebanon. They eat half of Lebanon. If they can eat it all, they will eat all. This is what they do. So the Prime Minister of India, he have the right to treat people equally as they treat them. Well, give, give Hindu citizenship in the, in the Gulf, give them citizenship in Libya, give them citizenship in Algeria, give them citizenship in Syria, give them citizenship in Iraq, then we will give you citizenship, all of you, no problem. But not a single Hindu, he got a citizenship in their countries, yet they say this is discrimination. And the whole world speak about it. And this is why the media is a garbage. I don't like to say the word bullshit. It is bullshit. It is not shame on India. It is shame on those who they, they are reporting, ignoring what's happening to the Hindus in Islamic countries. They make fun of their religion. They insult them. They humiliate them just because they are Hindus. You worship a cow, huh? I witnessed that myself. And the poor Indian guy, what he will say? I mean, he don't dare to say anything. You worship a cow, huh? Your mother is a cow? Uh-huh. <laughs> you calf are filthy. That's what they say to them in the street. If I say Muslim worship a shin, they will be upset. But they worship a shin. Allah is a shin. Beautiful shin, but we have to admit it's sexy, and you know it. So, my friend, <clears throat> I don't know this man, the Prime Minister of India, <clears throat> but actually, I like him. Sound like the man, you know, the, this is the guy who makes things happen. This is the guy who say and he do. Countries these days need, need real leaders, not potatoes. And finally, India, they got the Indian, they got a guy, he's a real guy, not a potato, he is not politically correct. He protects his country, and he is willing to do whatever is needed to protect his country. If I'm an Indian, I will vote for this guy. Hey, Modi. Moody, Moody, how are you? Driving the devil against you. Every. <laughs> anyway, guys, this is a short video. Uh, I, I will, I will, uh, I will let you uh, have enjoyed the rest of your Sunday. And this is a short video just to show you how the world is a hypocrite. When they say to you about this topic, ask a very simple question. When the last time a Hindu, he gets citizenship in Saudi Arabia? Hmm? People, they stay there for 20, 30, 40, 50 years. There are some people, they spend all their life there. You cannot. There's not a single Christian, Hindu, atheist in Saudi Arabia. Have you ever heard of a country, all of it is Muslims? It's a country. When the last time somebody in Qatar, he got a citizenship and he's a Hindu? In Algeria, in Libya, in Iraq, in Syria, in Morocco. You are not even allowed to be a Hindu there. Like now, in some countries like Emirates, they allow them for the first time to have their own temple. But still, they cannot get citizenship. Just because they have too many immigrants. Actually, number one employees in Emirates, they are Indian. Actually, they can take over the country. There is more Indian in Emirat, maybe five, six times more than the, the total population of, of, of Emirat. Right? So the socialists and who is supporting them, they are losing the ground and they are losing their mind. And they claim that those people, they are discriminated. No, the fact they are the one discriminated. 
Indian people, I know, I know, I know how to treat them in the Middle East. They bring 50, 60 Indian and they put them inside the room, guys. They, they have beds like shelves. Honest to God, I, I saw it with my eyes. They treat them as if they are chickens. And Muslim employees, they, they give them a lot nicer apartments, like every four or five people together. Still, they discriminate, by the way, even Muslims. Because if you are an American, they give you an apartment by yourself. If you are a Muslim, like five, six, you know, they put them in one apartment. But if you are a Hindu, they will be 40. And that is the truth. And not only that, those who they are not Muslim in Saudi Arabia, they give them a dirty residency book. It's brown. The Muslim, they have a white book. Even the book color is different because you are dirty. A Muslim book of residency, it's white. So this guy he is doing, you know, give them the give the Indian the right to be citizen in the Middle East in Islamic countries. Then you can you can ask them, well, you have to treat us the same. Be fair. Be fair and square. But the Muslim, he can't be fair. Since when? Since when? So, this is my video for you for now. Maybe I will go uh, live on air later. I think our internet is getting better. I order actually a new modem is going to arrive uh, today, supposedly yesterday. Uh, but, you know, FedEx... FedEx. If Muhammad he knew about FedEx, he will. He would actually. I think the one who was delivering the, the the verses for Muhammad it was FedEx. If you remember, Muhammad he found a dog under his bed, and FedEx angel Jibril did not get in. This is what happened to me yesterday. I was waiting all day for FedEx to bring this modem, and then now did not come. So I think this is Jibril, you know, involved in the story. You know, there's a dog. Yeah. All right. So thank you guys for being here. Don't forget to download the video, especially if you are an Indian. All right. Especially if you're Indian, ask them, do you treat us as we treat you? India is a democratic country, by the way. We cannot compare India to any Islamic country. It's a poor country. Yes. They have a lot of problems. Yes. Huge country population. But it's democratic country. Which Islamic country is democratic? <laughs> you know, I don't know what they complain about. I mean, those people, they complain about anything. But in the same time, they don't, they don't want you to get what they have. They will not give you rights they, they enjoy. The rights only have to be for Muslims, not for you. Go and see how they treat the Hindus in Pakistan. And the Christians, a poor woman, they accuse her that she insulted Allah. Go and see what happened to her. A poor woman. Allah, he needed protection from a poor woman. Homeless woman. Angry cult. And here we expose you. Thank you guys very much. And uh, say hello to Moody if you are from India. Uh, hey Moody, this is a Christian prince saying hello. Uh, please, if you come to uh, Arabia, uh, my country brother, I would like to have some tea with you. And we, I promise you, I will cook some food for you with curry. All right? Good job, man. Good job. Not for me because he's discriminating. He's not discriminating. I don't believe he's discriminating. He is just practicing the equal right. Give me citizenship, I give you citizenship. Why Trump don't ask Saudi Arabia? They are his friends. How come there's no Christians can get citizenship in Saudi Arabia? How come we bring Muslims from around the world and we give them refuge and we give them citizenship? And we give them all the protection they need and they treat them equal citizen and they have the right to vote they have the right to be a congress how come we don't have one citizen in saudi arabia is a christian because a trump is a potato compared to this guy you have a relationship with them and they are your friends 
but you don't dare to ask them serious questions have you ever have a country have no atheist zero atheist what happened everybody is a believer there everybody in the morning he wake up he says bismillah al-lahman al So they are quoting the, the, the law wrongly. This is not against Muslims. This is against illegal immigrants who they are coming to go and do trouble in India. And by the way, just to let you something to tell you something, do you know that in Saudi Arabia they prefer somebody is Hindu or Christian to come to Saudi Arabia, not a Muslim? And this is why in Emirat, number one employees are Indian and they are not Muslims, Hindus. Because they bring a Muslim, suddenly, second day, he thinks this is his land. Suddenly, second day, he want to tell the, 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 the prince of the country what to do, what not to do. So they prefer not to bring Muslims. Because Muslims, the second you bring them in Emirat or Saudi Arabia or any of those countries, they will cause a trouble. So they choose always the Christians, Hindus, any, 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 any religion, but not Muslims. This is why always to have to keep the, the, the Muslim uh, workers in Saudi Arabia very small number compared to others which mean muslims discriminate muslims they prefer to hire hindus or christians or anything but not to bring muslims so in his front of the of their their their, their uh, citizen like they say oh, we bring muslims so they bring some actually there is no like you see, you see a Saudi, who's your driver? He's an Indian. Indian what? Hindu, not Muslim. You don't trust a Muslim. Or a Christian. Indian Christian. They don't trust Muslims. And why they will? Muhammad, he went to his own son, wife, and he flirted with her. And this is the best man of the Muslims. And he said to her, praise be to Allah, the one who made my heart flip for you. If, if this is the prophet, what about the follower? He practiced Islam. Because remember, they learned the ethic from the prophet. I learned my ethic from the Messiah. I cannot go and be like him. I will never be. But I try my best. A Muslim, he would try his best to like to be like Muhammad. So he go to the wife of his son, wife, and he flirt with her. You see a woman in the street walking by and he get excited. So we are against discrimination against Muslims. We don't want, we don't like anyone to be discriminated. Discrimination against somebody somewhere is discrimination against me. So actually, I would like to protect the Muslims not to be discriminated. But in the same time, before you ask for such a right, you should believe in it too. If you discriminate yourself, why are you asking people not to discriminate against you? Secondly, they are not discriminating. They are treating you equally. Thank you very much for being here. Download the video. Share. Yeah, I think Zach and Nike will make a speech about this. Ibrahim Sitter. This person, Mr. Moody. He is very moody. And already he come with the moody agenda. Like, today he woke up in the morning and he said he is not going to give citizenship for immigrant Muslims. And this is the recrimination. What is that? This is the recrimination. Uh, sorry, Zach and Nike. It's too much rain coming from your mouth, but I did not get it. Discrimination. Ah, okay, discrimination. Exactly. I Christian Prince, you don't speak Arabic and you don't speak English, and now you are going to tease me. I know this is coming. Uh, okay, thank you. So, <clears throat> always stand against discrimination. It doesn't come. It doesn't matter. It's come from who. But Islam is number one religion who practice discrimination against everybody. You leave Islam, they will kill you. This is discrimination. A man, he beat his wife. This is discrimination. This is terrorism, actually. Violence in the Quran, teaching chapter 4, verse 34, beat your wife. This is terrorism, not only discrimination. Muslims are the best of mankind. This is discrimination. They have the right to bring everybody with the chain around his neck. This is discrimination. Believing in Muhammad is discrimination for mankind. Maybe. Yeah, they are flagging my. Maybe. Am I heard? 
it to see if it's going to work. Yeah, they are flagging me. Potato cowards. Am I here, guys? Yeah. 